Hey Internet, we're here checking out HP's new Spectre X360 15. You know and love the previous X350 15? HP did what it did to the Spectre X360 13 and decided let's trim off this bezel. And voila, we get the Spectre X360 15 for 2020. Look at the size difference. HP says the new Spectre X360 15 is about the size of most 14 inch laptops. Similar weight, 4.6 pounds, big battery, 87 watt hours, but much smaller. But like HP has been saying, no compromises on this laptop. A lot of vendors have said, you know what, we're gonna shrink this, the cool windows, hello, biometric face logging stuff, no room for the camera, but look at this. This is what most Windows Hello modules are like, pretty small in itself. This is the new one. This is a full IR camera in this bezel on top. Also new inside, six core Comet Lake U part, six core i7. If you wanna go higher up, they still offer a 9750H and a GTX 1650Ti and no more low rent 1080p panels. This is 15.6 inches of real estate so, HP says, only 4K. And you're going, well, how do they do that without killing battery life? Well, one, you still get the 4K OLED if you just want that insane contrast ratio, but if you want good battery life, HP says it has a new IPS panel that uses just two watts of power. Yes, that whole one watt thing that's been kicking butt on the 13.3 inch laptops is now on the 15.6 inch. They're saying, again, in this laptop with the 4K panel, with that two watts, will get you about 17 hours of runtime. That's mobile mark, so that's also very forgiving, but I will say that's crazy life because generally 4K panels kill battery life. You can just shave a third of your battery off just by going from FHD to 4K. You would think, of course, this is a 13.3 inch, almost, it's almost, the size of a 13.3 inch. Even the, the footprint too. Look at the footprint. I mean, it's it's really small, right? And this is the amazing thing about these laptops is you're not giving up the screen in real estate. You're still still getting that really big 15.6 inch screen, but just so tiny. And of course, it is an X360, so you get your tablet. Uh, it is an Intrig pin like the previous models. You get the pen. You get the sleeve. You get your tablet experience about the same thinness. Let's close them and find out. So it's about the same. You really just, a little, tapered, huh? a little tapered, you get your diamond cut. Let's look at the ports, power switch in the bottom, which I love this, because this, you automatically index this. You don't have to hunt for it on the side, you index this. You get a full HDMI. It does use a barrel charger because you can not go over 100 watts for the power brick over USB, uh, USB-C power delivery. On the other side, you get your two Thunderbolt 3s, you get your Type A, you get your hardware uh, camera cut off for people paranoid. And of course, HP has also added this cool feature like, hey, I'm afraid I'm talking smack about my boss over Skype during the company meeting. You press that button, you're muted. Now you can talk smack about your boss all you want. So it's a hardware mic mute. Hardware mic mute, not hardware, software. Hardware, software okay. Maybe that's the next step, but it's enough. It lights up so you know you're muted, not muted. Hey. You know, my boss is really dumb. Did you hear that, John Phillips? See, but now I turn it off, I'm not gonna, oh, I love you, John. So among the other differences, Wi-Fi used to be on top, now it's on the bottom. It is uh, Wi-Fi 6. And the bottom, actually, the vents, let's try to compare it to the previous model. You can see those holes are a little bit bigger, and you can see the vents are a little bit bigger as well. So it should outperform the previous model. HP is not talking exactly about what the performance will be, but it should outperform it. Uh, and also the nice thing is uh, mostly upgradable. M.2, no soldered SSD on both of these. Interestingly, the 9750H version will come with BGA memory. The Comet Lake U version will come with SODIMs. The reason is space. SODIMs take more room, more Z height, so they couldn't really jam that in along with the 9750H, that hotter part with, you know, it's gonna take more space, but they could do it on the Comet Lake U part. What I'm interested in though, is to see how a 9750H six core is gonna to compare to a Comet Lake U six core in this, because it is a bigger laptop. It should be able to perform better than a smaller laptop.
but we'll have to see when we get it. Last feature though, reflections. These shiny screens drive people crazy, right? Well, this, it's the same laptop. You basically order it when you go. You say, hey, you know what? I don't like the reflections in this laptop. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera. Yeah, you got the glass. You got a lot of glass. Looks great until you get in. You get those reflections on your eyes. This is anti-reflection. I'm going to wave it like I did the other one. In fact, we'll... On camera, it doesn't look that different, but in person, it definitely Let's see if we can do it this way. Can we do it this way? Does that work? I know that works. So what HP did is they're basically applying an AR coating on the inside of the panel. It greatly cuts down on the reflection. You can order it on apparently at go when you order the laptop, however you want it. It's going to be coming out at the end of this month. I'm going to tell you the buy-in for a Comet Lake i7. That's six cores, eight gigs, 256, 1599. That's, of course, where it starts. And, of course, you can also go up to a 1650 Ti and a 9750H if you want a little more power. But uh, looks... Very interested. I'm, I'm interested to see just how this, it's almost the size of the previous 13-inch laptop, it feels like. So heavier, though, and faster.